Today on Knowledge, we string a W4 pocket. First, you'll need to complete the light top string from Knowledge 1. To see that video, hit the I in the top right corner or check out the description below. Grab one of the remaining sidewalls and tie a knot four fingers from the end. Horizontally stretch the first three vertical rows of mesh and insert the string into the second sidewall hole from the top. Place the string in the first diamond on the second row from the back to the front. Wrap the string around the head and insert it back into the same second sidewall hole. Place the string into the first diamond on the 10th row and pull tight. Now we're going to do a special interlock, commonly called an SI. First place the string into the outer diamond on the second 10 diamond row from the back to the front. Skip a hole in the sidewall and insert the string from the outside in. Place the string on the top of the loop. To finish the SI, place the string back into the second 10 diamond from the front to the back and pull tight. This is an SI knot. Now we're going to do an interlock knot, or known as a KI. First, place the string into the outer diamond on the third 10 diamond row from the back to the front. Skip the next two sidewall holes and insert the string from the outside in. This time, we're going to wrap the string around and place it inside the loop. First, pull the lead string tight and then pull the secondary string to form the knot. Just as the SI, place the string in the same 10 diamond hole from the front to the back and pull as tight as you can. You want the knot to sit in the bottom of the diamond so all parts of the diamond lay flat against the head. This is a KI. Next, skip a hole and do the same knot as before, but without going through a mesh diamond. Go from the outside in on the sidewall, wrap around the string and through the hole, and be sure to pull tight. This is a K knot. Next, we are going to do a two knot. Place the string inside the outer diamond on the next 10 diamond row from the front to the back. Repeat that on the next 10 diamond row, bunching the two diamonds together on the sidewall rail. Insert the string into the next sidewall hole from the outside in, and make the same knot as above. This is a 2K. Next, we're going to do a 1K. Same as the 2K, but with one diamond on the rail. Place the string into the outer 10 diamond, inserting the string into the next sidewall hole from the outside in, and tie the knot. Repeat this 1K on the next two sidewall holes. At this point, you should have used nine mesh diamond rows and eight knots. There should be four holes left on the head. Next, we're going to focus the bottom of the pocket by using 1Ks and skipping sidewall holes. So skip the next sidewall hole and place the string in the next outer 10 diamond row from the front to the back and tie a sidewall knot. To finish the sidewall, skip a hole and place the string in the outer diamond on the 10th 10 diamond row from the back to the front. Then insert the string into the final sidewall hole from the inside out, pull tight and tie a knot. When finished with the sidewall string, pull the mesh away from the head to make the diamonds fold on the rails and see if there are any loose knots. If there are, go back and tighten them down. Grab the last sidewall string and repeat the process on the remaining sidewall. Be sure you're using the same sidewall holes and knots so your pocket will be symmetrical. When both sidewalls are complete, grab the remaining throat string, insert the string into one of the middle throat holes from the outside in, loop it back around and out through the outer throat hole next to it. Place the string in the outer diamond on the 11th 10 diamond row from the inside out and weave it across that same row. The final diamond will place the string towards the inside of the head. Take that string and put it in the remaining outer throat hole from the outside in and then to the final hole from the inside out. Even up the two strings and pull them as tight as you can, finishing off the throat string with a knot on each. Clean up the head by trimming the two sidewall strings at the bottom and tip each with a lighter. Be sure to use the top of the blue flame so you do not blacken the strings. Congratulations, you have now strung a W4 pocket. This pocket is great all over the field and excels at the playmaker position with its mid-whip and accuracy. If you enjoyed this knowledge, please leave the video a like. In the comments below, let us know what you would like to see for an upcoming episode. In the next video, we will cover the shooting strings for the W4 pocket. You can see this video by clicking on the thumbnail here or the eye in the top right corner. To get Throne products featured here, please see ThroneLacrosse.com. There's also a link in the description below.